Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Shailesh Vaidya. I'm from a company called Scorpius Trackers based in uh, Pune. Since time is short, I'll quickly run through my presentation and then we can uh, answer any questions. So Scorpius is a startup working in the solar tracking domain based out of Pune. Uh, we started four years ago and uh, as of now, we are the largest tracker company in, Pune, in India, uh, named as one of the top 10 in the world uh, by GTM. Uh, this year we have, in addition to trackers, we'll be launching a robotic module cleaning uh, solution and rooftop trackers as well. And uh, plans are to be pretty aggressively expanding in uh, various geographies across the world uh, in 18 and 19. Uh, why should one track the sun? Uh, the reasons are pretty obvious. Uh, when the tracker is working properly and the modules are pointing at the sun through the day, you get between 18% to 25% more energy. Uh, from the same modules. So in India, typically we have observed an energy gain of up to 19.5% maximum in South India. Uh, 22 to 24% is observed in places like Egypt or uh, Jordan or uh, Turkey. Uh, all this happens at a capex. So if the capex is not more than 8 to 12% of the plant capex, then trackers make a lot of sense. There is a significant improvement in IRR and also payback of the whole investment is uh, within three years for trackers. This is the primary reason why we would use trackers. I'll skip this slide. The, does video play? Oh, it doesn't matter. This is, this is a small video of a tracking plant, but I don't think it's playing. In the interest of time, I'll skip this. So primarily there are two types of uh, tracking technologies. Uh, there is a single row tracker in which there is a motor per table and there is a multi row tracker or which is known also known as an array tracker which means multiple rows are connected by a central motor. So as of today Scorpius is one of the few companies in the world to have launched both kinds of technologies a single row as well as a multiple row technology. So we have now more than uh, 300 megawatts of uh, block trackers because we started off as a block tracker company. As you can see, there's a drive line here, which is connecting all the rows together and all the rows move in sync with each other because of one motor pushing and pulling the drive line. But in a single row system, you have a few advantages that each row is controlled by a separate motor. That means during a module cleaning cycle, as you can see in the image below, the adjacent rows can be made to face each other so that the same cart can clean modules from both tables simultaneously. So we now have installed both types of uh, tracker technologies. There are a lot of patents and IPs filed because uh, Scorpius is essentially a technology company. We outsource all our manufacturing, but we hold a lot of global patents. One of them in the tracking is that each table from the north to south direction can have two or three bends so that contour of the land can be followed instead of spending money on leveling of the land. So, a lot of IP in play at Scorpius. I think these two videos are also not playing, so I'll just skip this one. Uh, like I mentioned, we have a lot of plants in India and outside. We have a few plants running in Japan, in Palestine, in Africa. So, we have installed plants in different kinds of geographies where there is snow, sand, dust, etc. Our product is life cycle tested. The bearing or bushing which we use is life cycle tested. 10, 50 years of operation without any maintenance. So some things which worry customers when they think of trackers is will there be a lot of cleaning to do for the bushings or will there be O&M in the plant or what will be the installation cost of a tracker. So as of today, the O&M on the mechanical side in a tracking plant is zero. You don't have to do any cleaning or any oiling on the moving parts. There's just electronics which uh, is installed additionally and electronics as you know is very robust it's life cycle tested as per IC standard so trackers when selected properly are as good as installing a fixed tilt plant we do a lot of uh, IOT solutions which are deployed along with our trackers to, for preventive maintenance of the plant and check the health of the whole system our Tracker technology has now been uh, reviewed by Black and & Veatch and uh, has gone through a very rigorous independent engineer's bankability review, which uh, looks at the company and the technology on various aspects on design and in manufacturability and performance. So that makes us one of the few companies in the world to have a bankability review done for trackers. 
like I mentioned, we have trackers in many uh, geographies. Uh, in 2018, we'll be doing a lot of projects in Southeast Asia, in Middle East, and in US and South America as well. We started off as a tracker technology company, but the plan this year is around September to launch a robotic module cleaning solution, which will be very unique. More details will be available soon. We have already commissioned a rooftop tracker uh, two years ago, and that's been under observation. Uh, in this June of this year, we'll be launching a very nice uh, rooftop uh, tracker. And integrated BOS, I'll talk about in my, uh, I can talk about offline. So that's about it now. I will go ahead with the panel discussion, I think. Thank you.